हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल लर्न इनोवेटिवली विथ मी माय नेम इज शशि भूषण चौहान एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट हाउ यू कैन सेटअप काइनेटिक एलाइजा एक्सपेरिमेंट इन जेन फाइव सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर अ क्लिनिकल एस एंड दिस क्लिनिकल एस हैव सम एडिशनल स्टेप फॉर सेटअप लाइक डेल्टा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन स्टैंडर्ड कर्व कट ऑफ एंड वेलिडेशन स्टेप सो हाउ वी कैन सेटअप फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट इन जेन फाइव सॉफ्टवेयर so you can see on my laptop screen for new experiment click here and this clinical assay kit provide the 96 well plate so i am selecting here 96 well plate and uncheck this use lid and the first step is set temperature so i am selecting incubator on this is the requirement for the assay 37 degree centigrade and and it also need the shaking of the plate so i am selecting here shake and intensity slow duration for Two second, and now for the kinetic setup, click here. Start kinetics, and this assay need forty minute to take the absorbance. So I am selecting forty minute and the time interval. So for this assay, the time interval is two minute, and machine will take the absorbance after every two minute. So you can see total twenty one reads will be taken by the machine for this assay. So you can see. how you can set up the kinetic elijah step and now you have to define the absorbance value for this click here on the read and the detection method absorbance read type in point read speed normal and the first wavelength is 405 nanometer for this clinical assay the reference wavelength is 490 nanometer click on okay now you can see all the step required for the procedure is completed for this assay now click here okay now this open the option to save the experiment so i am saving this experiment and the next step is plate layout if you just double click here you can see the new window for the layout so this clinical assay have two assay control positive and negative standard curve and sample click here on the next and define the plate layout id for the control so my first control is negative and here you can put the full name define the next id for the control this is for the positive control i am selecting the full name click on the next and standard and the standard is in singlet here in my case so i am selecting the value for the standard one and my first standard one concentration is 600 picogram and for the half dilution so here i'm selecting the factor 0.5 and now click here you can see value is assigned according to this factor in the subsequent standard click on the next you can increase or decrease the sample number during the assigning of the plate layout so i am just going to finish this wizard and here you have to assign your control and sample and standard so in the first well i have the negative and further the standard and here i have the positive control in this well and all other well up to column 9 i have sample so i am just selecting the well to assign the sample so here you can see in my plate layout one negative one positive control five standard and total 65 sample click on the okay and the next step for this experiment is data reduction so by default it has taken the kinetic analysis so i am going to remove this so first we have to perform the delta reduction option for this experiment so i am just selecting the delta here to remove the background absorbance of the plate so here data in 405 and the data into the reference wavelength 490 and you can see the formula and the name after subtracting the background delta click okay and after delta reduction we have to click on the well analysis kinetic for this assay and here for this assay 
we are taking the value delta and we are calculating the mean value not max value so i am selecting here mean you can okay you can see the kinetic analysis mean value is added here and after this we will create the standard curve for this plate on the basis of standard so click here on the standard curve and here you can see data in mean value of a standard will be taken for the standard curve preparation and curve fit type you can select here by default it is linear so i am going with the linear regression click ok and after this step i am going to set up for the cutoff so if you click here on the cutoff and here in the cutoff data in i am going to select the concentration and here i want to suggest you that for the cutoff we have to keep the value in the increasing order so that we can make the cutoff formula so for the negative cutoff the value is 70 picogram and here you can assign negative and you can assign the color for this from here you can select i'm selecting the lime color for the negative so here you can see if the value have less than 70 picogram the well the corresponding well will be negative for this assay and the next is 95 picogram and the value between 70 and 95 for this assay is inc inconclusive result and you can assign the color for this so i am assigning the blue color for inconclusive result if the value comes between 70 to 95 then it will be inconclusive result and more than 95 picogram value the sample will be positive so here i am putting the p o s and changing the color red so in this way you can decide your cutoff for your clinical essay and here you can also see out of range if the value is below range out minus and the value above range out plus here i'm and click here on ok and the last thing we have to set up that is validation for this click here on the validation so you can label here i am labeling validation mean delta value mean value delta and you have to select the data in from here here i am selecting mean value delta now click here on the open formula editor you can make your formula here so our validation is step for this clinical essay is if the negative is less than standard 5 then this essay will be valid so click here on the ok and you can see formula is showing here also click on the ok now each step for this clinical essay assigned for the data reduction click on the ok now the last step of protocol report and export builder click here and click here on new report and you can select what you want in the report and click on the ok here i am showing the result i have taken the absorbance from the LIJ plate reader machine and here I am showing the result. So if you click here on the curve 405 wavelength, you can see the value. And if you click here on any well, and you can see the graph of graph of 405 wavelength, like selected well B1, and you can see the absorbance value at different time intervals that we have set during the protocol preparation in which we have selected 40 minutes and 21 re absorbance read for this clinical essay so you can see the absorbance and you can select change the well from here and see the value of the absorbance I am closing this and if you 
click here and change it to 405 and here it is showing a control panel in which you can see the video if you click here you can see the absorbance is changing when it, the value is changing according to reads here and closing this and if you select the if you select here the concentration you can see the concentration in picogram for each well and also the sample here you can see on the basis of setup it assigned the result for each well you can see here negative positive samples negative and some sample are inconclusive And if you click here, you can see the sample well mean value. So, in this way, you can set up your experiment in Gen5 software for any clinical essay. And I hope. This tutorial may help you in your research and if you like the video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.